Squeenix. Don't noty. Okay, we're in Domino's, episode two, out of time. So the version that did not have Hella in it was used only 10% as much as the one that did have Hella in it. So that one's dead. Thank you for the gifted subs, Annie for press. Thank you very much. You have gifted hundreds by now. Holy shit. Hella. Hella gifted subs. All right, so that's that. Continue. Oh, look, it's a different menu. All right, so we're gonna continue. Continue. Who just leaves their laptop open with a screensaver on overnight? What the fuck is Keck? Just in case you don't know what Keck is, because I'm sure you probably are just being a shitter, but um, some people might not know what Keck is. Uh, in the in the hit game World of Warcraft, um, if you were did it go both ways? If if you were Horde and you were next to someone who was Alliance, you cannot speak the same language. And if you typed L O L next to someone who was Alliance, it would show up on the screen as Keck. Did it go both ways? If you were um, if you were human and you spoke common to a to a horde, would it come back as Kek, or is it only it was only one way? So Kek means leans lol from uh, lol laugh out loud from horde speaking to the alliance in uh, in World of Warcraft. Now I don't know where the fuck equals Kek comes from or what the fuck equals Kek means. You there, hippie? Hi, whore. What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? What? So she just, she just believes this now, does she? Okay. I kind of feel like they glossed over the demonstrating proof to Chloe that we can go back in fucking time. I can't go back that far, smartass. I need your help. Like when you told Step Dork it was your weed, but for reals, we need to talk. Or eat an ass buster breakfast at Two Whales, my treat. Ass buster breakfast? Because it's going to hurt coming out what or you're just sitting so long eating it no emoji no unhappy face mom hi hey honey i hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you but don't drown it either mommy oh no can we can we even with all this crazy can we overwater it can we overwater it we watered it last time surely it's been like a day do you water your plant every day i don't know i'm watering drink up it's got electrolytes this action will have uh, consequences. Definitely not every day. Yeah, but you don't know how how much water is she putting in the pot. Maybe she's only putting a little bit amount, and she can put a little bit every, in every single day. We don't know the context of how much is in there. DVDs. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Yep, that's your conclusion. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. What? I would do that anyway. What do you mean? You just, just like, communal fucking shampoo in the dorm? What? Who the f- Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. We as chat demand you sext your wife again. I don't have my phone with me, I can't. I watched a few episodes of Dr. Hugh and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist, then Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, all kinds of Amazon women, black and white, badassery. Tetsuo, a total cy cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Pilgrim for about the millionth time. Alright, so, like... I hate her. <laughs> I had to go back to the, the dorm to get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victoria and her Vortex vixens blocked me from getting in and even took my picture. It was so high school movie. I can't believe she did it. I can't believe you've done this. She actually told me to go fuck your selfie. Yeah, that needed to be written again, though. It was funny. It was funny. I don't know why she has to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? Alright, so here's here's my read on it, okay? And maybe I'm completely off. I think there's more to Victoria than there is. She is kind of a bully, and she's like... She's a little bit stuck up, but the reason why she hates Max is because the teacher fawns over Max and Victoria wants the teacher's D, I think. And I think the reason why Victoria also hates, I think there's some truth to the whole Rachel and the, and the teacher having a thing. I don't know if that's going to link back to why Rachel was disappeared or if it's just that it, it's just like a, a side thing that was Rachel was doing. Rachel and the teacher had a thing before and that's why Victoria hates Rachel as well. That's why I think it's coming from. So it's all about the teacher. That's what I think. So I think Victoria, there's more to her and she's not the stereotypical bully. And I think there's probably more to the Nathan guy too. The way he was like, why I don't want anyone to, um, I'm sick of people controlling me. 
Shorty has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came. She for she forced you. Forced you. Wow. You're the asshole. For forced her to use her rewind powers. Your superpowers, your rules? Lord of the dormitory. And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. Because I couldn't just walk around her. Juliet told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zack and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria. Yeah, she did do that. that that's kind of fucked up. All right, so maybe I'm wrong. Victoria is kind of... It's not just Max. She's kind of a bitch, too. All right. Does the professor like Dana, too? Hmm. It all comes back to that professor or that teacher. I snuck into Victoria's room. Kind of just a complete psychopath, by the way. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. Didn't mind, though. Dana is in a weird mood, so I had a look around to see if I could find out why, and I snooped through literally everything in her room and found a pregnancy test. Dana admitted she was pregnant, and I realized that all my friends have troubles that are just as significant as mine. So, <laughs> what, what fucking trouble do you have that's as significant as fucking teen pregnancy? What? You don't have anything going on. What the shit? I really need to get the hang of this whole rewind thing. I could have used it for something as easy as warning Alyssa she was going to get a football field headshot, but I didn't. <laughs> How selective should I be with this power? And my re rewind power was useless. This day keeps getting stranger. Damn. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up in a truck. My former best friend, Chloe Price. <gasps> We both looked at each other like, what the fluff? Next thing I knew, I was in her truck as Warren earned his man card. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time, even though I didn't give a shit. Oh, man. Aww. Warren is a peace bringer, huh? Warren peace? Eh? Eh? Equals keck. Of all the bizarro and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck listening to music and staring at her dashboard bubblehead might be at the top. Um. Literally rewound time? Saw, saw Chloe get shot in the stomach? Woke up in the classroom after seeing a tornado? Rewound time to save her multiple times? But no, sitting in Chloe's truck looking at the bobblehead, that's the top of the list. So I tried- that That was ages ago, who cares? Chloe and I were two best friends who didn't know each other anymore because of you! I didn't know where to start and she wasn't a, a, exactly extending an olive branch. Yeah, because you didn't text her for five years even though she loves you! So we sat like strangers, because of you! I didn't care considering everything else going on, but it sucked on top of everything else going on. What? So I don't know if this is on purpose or not. See this see this repetition? So else going on, everything else going on, everything else going on. This sometimes you repetition like this is good for reinforcement, but I don't think this is on purpose actually. I hate this sort of thing. This is one of my biggest this is one of my biggest pet peeves in all of writing, and it's one of the biggest reasons why you should always read everything out loud. Even then you can still miss some things. If you ever notice that kind of repetition in my videos, almost every single time what's happened is is that I took it out of the script or it wasn't in the script to begin with and then I improv the line and didn't realize through my improv or like ad lib the line that I'm causing some repetition with with a phrase or a word and when I listen to it back at the end of it it drives me fucking crazy. So yeah, you can really feel repetition when it's like this and it's one of the easiest things to remove from your writing. Is it easy or is it simple? It's simple to remove it, you just have to like pay close attention as you're going through it, but it still takes time. That smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. Yeah, it's true. I like I like the 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 whole like smell is linked to memory thing. Yeah, sometimes you get you, you get hit by a smell and you're like, oh man, I feel like I'm in my in my friend's house, or like someone someone's perfume or or cologne or whatever, and it's like, oh, that reminds me of some person. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the poster. <laughs> I'm an other one. You suck, Max. You do though. Hello. Hi, whore. Doesn't even mention the snow globe she broke. Or the bird she let into the room. That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up and it was David Madsen. Dun, dun, dun. David has it out for me. Now. Maybe, hold on. Maybe David, the reason why David set up the security cameras is because one of his guns kept, keeps going missing. So he set it up to see who's stealing his guns, right? 
and he wants to set up surveillance at the school because the school's in danger and he's true he's right because like someone died at the school and people keep sneaking in and, and you know what like and he also wants to know he who keeps letting birds into his bedroom right i think that david madsen is the true unsung hero of this game i th i think i think i think that david madsen is misunderstood you know he has good reasons for everything that he does, right? Turn that music down. She was playing the music really loud. Oh, don't smoke pot in the room. She was smoking pot in the room. She was doing drugs. And it's his house, his rules, not the asshole. If he doesn't want his stepdaughter smoking pot in her room, then she doesn't get to smoke pot in the room. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just, I, I, I feel like he has reasons for everything. So Chloe and I ended up at the lighthouse watching the sunset. And we were bench friends. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoia at school and at home. It all made sense. It's not uber paranoia though. A gun went missing and someone died at the school. I'm not, okay. Obviously they're setting him up as being like this horrible person. And I'm not going to go completely ham on that. But like, it's not uber paranoia if shit's really happening. My name is Max, I'm here to say, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most because it requires the least amount of work because it's a physical photograph and therefore I don't need to use learn how to use computers and, pho and Photoshop and learn how to touch it up. I can just snap and go and be like, tee hee, I don't know how to do that shit. I'm analog, I don't have to do that. <laughs> Aren't I quaint and, 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 and peppy? I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. <sighs> Say cheese. Like I, I, I actually hate her. I actually hate. So if I just hit right, I can go through all of them. Wait, she's 18. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised too. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also super hot. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. Canny, he's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. Oh man, I don't have that. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be full, a full-time artist. Shout out to the high school teachers that are really hard on you in your in your last year of high school and like have these like impossibly high, cruel, unfair standards and like little traps that they that they don't tell you stipulations and then when you don't do something right, they're like, "Haha, you fell for it. Good thing you're learning this now cuz they're not going to tolerate that in university." And then you go to university and all the professors are just so much super chill compared to the last year high school teachers and they actually don't give a fuck about anything that these high school teachers were were like that like god damn fucking power trip in high school teachers fuck off he really wants me to enter a photo in this everyday heroes contest i like to think my work could be good enough to win and i'm honored jefferson even bugs me about the contest okay so we're definitely gonna go to that while we're there with him is he gonna hit on us and it's gonna be super awkward and gonna be like oh my god he's he he's a bad mark jefferson or is it gonna seem like that's gonna happen and then it's gonna subvert your expectations and it's gonna turn around and it's gonna be like Wait, no, I'm not like that at all. And it turns out that he's actually a good Mark Jefferson. I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be a good Mark Jefferson. Smiley face. I can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be... Why is there a cocktail? I thought I smelled alcohol in his breath. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, I'm really glad I read this now. I didn't know that. Really? But it, that could have been his cologne, right? But I remember his... his me my first meeting in his office and he was so nice and made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world yeah because he was fucking lit Just <laughs> taking his morning cap and his afternoon cap he said he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell I thought that was a bit of wishful thinking but it made him f but it made me feel good yeah and he's gonna hit you up every single year for a charitable donation to the school that he's gonna spend on booze e equals keck and I am thankful for Warren. He's he's like a real friend and we share a lot of the same interests. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I can't tell if he's just being nice. Okay, I can't tell. I can't tell if you're like, you don't like him or you can't even comprehend like a boy being interested in you. Like, I, I just, I, I don't know. It could go either way. Like, like does, does she, she just look at him and be like, yeah, I don't, I feel nothing for this guy. Or is it just like, she just cannot envision anyone being interested in her. She's stringing him along as long as he's useful. Based and red pilled? Oh my god, I didn't know Merrick was red pilled. <sighs> oh man. No wonder you called Mars Needs Senpai's cuck shit.
equals Keck. Then there's Chloe Price. What do you say about your best friend after five years of silence? After you find out you saved her life in the bathroom. Nothing! Well, you know, just continuing the trend. She still kind of looks like a pirate. Yeah, I see it. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm... <laughs> Just, just empath things. So, I'm a little bit of an empath, and I feel like that you're angry with me, and I'm just getting a sense because of your body language. I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. Yeah, of, of course. So did that happen after she left? Oh, yeah, how would she know? Actually, it had to happen first, right? That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. So she must know. Otherwise, it would be like, oh my god, your dad's dead? It would be a surprise, right? So her best friend's dad died, and then she fucked off and didn't keep in touch? Oh my god. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid her grief. Speaking of grief... Yeah, there we go. Speaking of... Whoa! What? Oh my god. Holy shit. This reminds me, this reminds me of the first season of, um, of the Netflix show You, where you have... Um, you have Joe, who's the main character, and the other main character is, um, I think, I can't remember what they call I think they call her Beck, maybe? I, like, she, her name's like Guinevere, but they call her Beck. So, the main character's name is, is Joe, um, and the, uh, and, and the, the, his girlfriend, I think, I think Beck, right? Now, th this, you learn in, like, the first episode, okay, so this isn't a spoiler. Joe is a monster, Okay. Joe, Joe is like, like actually like legit a monster. Like, like he's hilarious and I love him. Like it's one of those monsters that you like. Joe is like a fucking monster. Okay. And yet Beck is just the worst human being. <laughs> and I'm getting some big Beck vibes from Max. Like Beck is just the fucking worst human being. <laughs> she's not a monster, but she's fucking awful. So, in, in a way, I don't know, like, jo Joe's, like, badness is almost kind of more primal and honest, and you kind of, you kind of get it, you know what I mean? But Beck is fucking just, just the worst person. <laughs> and that's, that's who Max reminds me of. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, She, but she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple weeks just empath things i wonder if all that bullying has worn her down nah i can see how it would nah i have to make an effort to talk to her more often maybe invite her to tea or a movie nah although she's an adult i bet she's not allowed to watch r-rated films what do you mean just just getting a dig there all right then there's victoria chase the elite of blackwell academy and a total bitch Hey, bitch, and I hate saying that, do you? 18-year-olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. <laughs> okay, Max, for reals? I wish your parents could see her in action. They cut off that trust fund fast. What? Are, are you, Max, what? The odd thing is, <laughs> okay, yeah. Here's, here's an email, Mr. Chase. I, I will see that you, your your daughter would not move in fr out of out of the fucking d d uh, the stairwell for me to get to the dormitory today i will i i am I'm assured that you will see my case and cut her off from her trust fund now that you've seen the error of your daughter's deeds and ways like what where is rachel amber already know her 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 name through osmosis yeah it was real subtle but we picked up on it what is that like feather earring kind of looks like the bluebird Oh, she turned into a bird. I guess she she was popular. Oh, she's she's blue. She's been she's been her soul has been destroyed into multiple different blue entities around around the 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 whole town. She's like one part's in the blue bird, one part's in the blue bl butterfly. We're going to find a blue lizard or a blue something else and then and then chat chat Oh no, one one piece is missing. Where's the last piece? Time's running out, the tornado's coming in. We need to find the last soul piece of Rachel Amber. But no, nothing's blue. And then Max turns to Chloe. Chloe, your hair! Your hair is the last blue piece. Oh my god, it is! And then she dunks her hair into the soul well, and the blueness comes out of her hair. And then it's like she comes... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I went on a rant there. She looks posed and pretty like a model. 
Rachel has a great picture on her missing person, but yeah, like, like, like what the fuck? Why would you think that? Uh, she's missing, but you know what? Looking good, Rachel Amber. Damn. Even when she's missing, she looks great. Of course, I wonder who took the photo. Oh, Jefferson for sure. Just when I thought Victoria Chase would be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with with Nathan Prescott. Man, all dealing with Nathan and Victoria Chase, it really makes me feel like I'm teen pregnant. I guess I have a little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time. Yeah, just just a smidge. Now nah, I don't really blame her for not going to the police in this case. Like, in in Persona Four, it may it didn't make sense for for Waffles not to tell uh, Dojima because. Like, that's not going to the police, that's going to your fucking uncle. Like, he's your family. And if you showed him, like, look, I can put my hand through the TV. Like, I feel like there's there's an avenue there where you could talk to your uncle and, like, your, you and your family could could work that out. Just going to the police and being like, hey, look, I, could, I can warp around the room at will, like, with my rewind power. Like, there's no guarantee that you're not going to just get sent to a lab to get, to get studied there, you know? Dojima's voice clip saying Persona is in my brain rent free. Persona? Great vegetables. Great vegetables. Haven't done this in a while. You're right. Our bond. So of course he would end up at Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Would a security guard even have that much power? I thought security guards at like a school were at the same level as like a security guard at like a grocery store where they're just like, they're there to satisfy some some insurance thing. But I guess not. In America, are, is, that like a, is that like a big role? Like, I guess... Sadly, yeah. All right, we did it. We read. We read everything. All right, that was very illuminating. Actually, I'm glad I did that. Gordon, seriously, do not forget. I need those papers before tonight, like now. What? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you're looking at the bulletin board. Okay, what are you looking at? Ow. Love you. <laughs> Love you, mom. Who did it? What if I what if I stand in the way? Ow! Woo! Woo! All right, who throws it? Is it from there? Vortex Club are such a case. <gasps> Ow! Wait, hold on. That's way too fast. Was she like opening the door, creak and looking out and being like, "Hold on." Let, let me line up this shot. Like, what? That's just like, just, whoo, 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 like, that's practiced. Whoa. Ow. Ow. <laughs> no, I want to. <laughs> Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. <laughs> she just does it. Why? Okay, if that makes you happy. Wait, <laughs> she, 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 she did have it planned. She's not even there, and she still threw it. What? <laughs> what? Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. <laughs> but why? Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. Everyone's talking about this. I didn't know you were sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Looper. Looper is alright. Groundhog Day, Back to the Future. Um, I think I like Groundhog Day the most out of these three. But what's what's the shittiest take here, Looper? Looper was very cool. Seriously, plays with your mind. Oh man. I'm still trying to figure it out. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I have I have no balls allowed. I have questions about the the toilet room goblin. Yes, Th throw the toilet roll at Alyssa's head. Yes. Clover votes betray.
Fine, I won't disturb you. 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 She's got to answer eventually, right? Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Wow. Fine, I won't disturb you. Uh-oh. Okay. No brook here. Fine, I won't disturb you. Hey, Juliet. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why? Why should I? Why? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. For no reason at all, Juliet's best girl. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Eh, who cares? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. What is this video? Spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. What website, though? Where? What website? I'm not watching the video, Max. What video? Hey, I don't remember your name. Hey, Brooke. Oh, right. That's oh. okay. Hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Okay, so see there? Th those two lines of dialogue were were written and then like performed without the two people being, you know, in communication with each other, you know? Video games are, pr are, are getting much better at that sort of thing. Um, but uh, they're still not all the way there yet. Uh, a, a game that does it actually pretty excellently for the most part is Witcher 3. Witcher 3 does it really, really well. And Bethesda could learn a lot about how to uh, uh, construct dialogue trees and with multiple branching paths that loop back to a normal, uh, like, a, like a main thread throughout them all. Uh, there's a lot of repeated information and, and dialogue lines, like um, like being almost the exact same thing paraphrase, paraphrased over multiple instances in Bethesda games and a lot of open world games. Um, Witcher 3 does it really, really well. I can't remember if Cyberpunk does it as well. Cyberpunk, I think, does, but maybe not quite as good as Witcher 3. I can't remember now. I wasn't really paying attention to that much in Cyberpunk. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Yeah, Did War you talk Warren, to yet? better than meteorologists. I will later. Lucky you. In my swimsuit. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Wow. Warren just keeps getting worse and worse, huh? Like, Warren could go after Brooke, but instead he's, like, going after Max? What the fuck, Warren? Get some taste. Man, no wonder people like this game, though, because, like, you hate Max, but you are Max, so it really makes you feel like you're hating yourself. Literally me. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Mac. Yeah, that's too fun for you. That's the too fun of a, a nerd thing for you. Nope. Can't be having fun. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back. To my room. To my That's room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Contraceptive pills. Huh. I wonder why she needs those. Let me talk to her about those. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Let's talk later, Max. Hmm. I like makeup bottles and stuff like that. They're kind of neat to look at. I also really liked um, one of my favorite parts of Bioshock Infinite. The bottles in those were gorgeous, huh? Like, you would get a new one and they'd hold it up and they'd be like this, this, this like work of like shaped glass art with like some stuff in it. Like, yeah, those were those were gorgeous. I really liked those. Like, I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Okay, 
Dana is now best girl. My best girlness with Juliet has ended. Dana is my best girl now. Although, she's already pregnant. So, you know, because that's important to me. Rollerblades. How many kids does Joe have? Uh, anyway, four. That, that was a joke. It's because I have so many kids. Clearly, it's a hobby. So if she's already done that hobby with somebody else, then, you know, what's left for me to do? Oh, don't use these or else your hair is going to fall out. Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Yep. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Not doing that. Do 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 Wait, are, are these occupied right now? Are people in here or are they just... Because I don't hear any water going. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Oh, it's a pun. It's like, I'm good to go. I'm good to flow. Okay, I get it now. That's just bad. All right. Was this necessary? Just just show the curtain outside. That's it. That's all we need. Alright, is, is Kate going to get possessed by a ghost and kill us now? Uh-oh. The indigo prophecy up, become Kate? real. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. That wasn't me. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> tongue I'm going record. to be sorry someday. Wait, does she still have paint on her face from when it dumped off the fucking thing? Oh, boo hoo. Wash I'm your face, you're Victoria. A slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Sister. Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. It's been a day! What? There's no way! Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous didn't. because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. He doesn't though, and it drives you crazy. Really? You're buying this? You're buying this? She's right behind me, isn't She's she? She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. True. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway. Oh, me too. Let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to watch that to see if it actually is Kate because <laughs> I'm curious. I'm sorry. You set up a website? Okay. You wrote the HTTP? What? Why is the shower still running? I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Okay, so now they're going? Why would you put the clothes back on? Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Okay, can, can we can we go and see if it's her? All right, let's erase it. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Whoa! Now it's back. <laughs> now it's back. Do 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 I will take her book back though, I'm not a monster. Oh revenge. No fucking way. Hope they didn't take your journal where you sound like a lunatic. That's not why I came to Blackwell. Wait, do your do your doors not have locks? 
Okay. Well, if this is the price you're paying for, like, dumping paint all over her and, like... I think you came out on top of this. Easy. <gasps> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Nah. Too much work. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Okay, can we get dressed? Okay, my fault, Maybe sorry. Maybe just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. He didn't, though. That's just a myth to make him sound more weird and interesting. That's not true. I do have all the time in the world now. Okay, why don't you rewind to before when Victoria, like, like, fucked up your room. Keep your mouth marked shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Alright? Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Nah. But it could be anybody. Oh, they do have locks. Wait. Uh, lock? Lock? Ours is the only one with no lock? No, Kate doesn't have a lock. You have to pay extra for a lock? Juliet has a lock. You have a lock. Stella has a lock. Oh, so if you're cool, you get a lock on your door. All right. You know what? That makes sense. Kate? Hey, Kate, I'm gonna go snooping. Here I go snooping again. Make your bed, Kate. What the hell? Kate, make your, make your goddamn bed. Oh. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. That makes sense. Okay, creepy. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John messed up square root symbol five. Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, pop. Aw. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. That's a yikes from me, chief. That's a yikes from me. Even your aunt saw the video? And us, us fucking wiping it off the mirror is apparently going to be important. Holy shit. Did Victoria email her? Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Oh, I like it. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. No? They look fine. A little awkward, but they're fine. What are you talking about? They're fine. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Max, Max is, uh, <laughs> Max shows the importance of giving your kids something to rebel against, because otherwise they're going to grow up into her. <laughs> Matthew 7, 7, 2, 8. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Oh, she crossed that one out. When justice is done, if it, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. Ooh. All right, something really bad happened to Kate. Or maybe it's just about the video. Okay, so is it actually her in the video? Because the aunt, the aunt would recognize her niece, right? Call us. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you and our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Um... Yeah, this is, this is how overbearing religious parents talk to their kids. This seems actually legit. Like, everything is, like, a fucking, like, business arrangement. Like, what are we getting out of this? Oh, she has her own kettle? Oh, man. Oh, she has her own little food stall here. Oh, that's neat. Look, just to be clear, because, you know, I've had I've had some, like, r slash atheist moments here. Not every... Uh, the, the key word there and what I said was overbearing. There are plenty and plenty of religious parents who are or who are wonderful parents and can raise kids well. But the overbearing religious parent stereotype, in, in my experience when talking to a lot of people, usually treats everything, despite like putting on the best show in the world of being like look how religious and great we are really tends to view the relationships with their family as transactional 
and it's like, well, you know, if, if you don't, you, you have to stay at home. If you don't stay at home until like you're an adult and get married and leave, then fuck you. You know, like if you, if you leave, then you get nothing from us, you know, like family is everything until you do one thing against them, that sort of thing. Um, so the overbearing is almost like, um, what is it? A is it a, is it a Christopher Hitchens line where he says that, um, one of the biggest problems with religion is that it can be used as a way to make good people do horrible things. Like, genuinely good people can have really disturbing beliefs because of religion. Well, what happens when there's someone who is, like, not a good person is religious? You know, like, uh, although I don't I don't really actually believe in evil all that much, but um, let's say someone who is not a good person, they're just okay. Now they have re something like religion to justify some really, really shitty behavior when it comes to dealing with their kids and their family, and now you have this, like, perfect justification for being, like, like actually insane with how you deal with your parents. Uh, uh, sorry, how you deal with your kids and like the rules that you will you will enforce on them is that the same for every belief yeah it is the same for every belief but um most beliefs don't really have like a, a community center that's going to be like rallying around you and justifying them all the time right that's why that's why religion is it can be dangerous but it's not always dangerous you know i want to i want to distance myself a little bit from the r slash atheism edgy comments i've made because i'm not that person anymore uh like it's it's fine to be religious but sometimes it gets taken a little too far um hey kate i brought your book Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? We did this already. I wanted proof. I wanted proof David was in your face. So I took this photograph. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I really I haven't. Can't even watch it, Max. Sh should I watch it? Should I watch it, just for posterity? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> you know how humiliating this is for me. What is it? You? No, this sucks, Kate. Basically, I went to one vortex club party, and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Oh, you were drugged. Okay. She doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened to- <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I went- to... I don't dispute that I went to the party. And I don't dispute that I that I made out with some people. And I don't dispute that it's me, me, in, me in the video. But I draw the line at hanging out with Victoria. <laughs> I did not hang out with Victoria. Party. Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... Sounds like it. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Okay, it can't it can't be this straightforward, right? Nathan says I'll take you to the hospital, and then he didn't. Like Nathan has to have some sort of heart, right? I hope it is actually Nathan did actually take her to the hospital, and it's like someone else that did it, and it's going to be more of a mystery. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit! He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. Oh. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... What? What the fuck? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean oh, self. Oh, so Victoria was Jesus, there. Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate. We'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Okay, hold on. I'm morbing. I'm morbing. Hold on. I'm morbing. 
Okay, I'm warped. All right, so here, here's what I think. Here's what I think is going on. Whatever happened to Kay is involved in whatever happened to Rachel. And the reason the security guard wants to increase security cameras and everything is that he's he's tapping into what's going on. He's realizing something fucked up is going on. It's got something to do with wherever that place that he doesn't want Chloe to go. And the reason why he's talking to Kate so much and trying to figure out more information is because he thinks that that Kate is like somehow involved in it and might it might be some bad might have happened to Kate. And Nathan is in on it, maybe. Nathan, Nathan uh, is, is Nathan? In on? I don't know. But the the whole soft voice, white light injection in the neck—that's really weird. Jefferson couldn't be involved in this though. Not 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 Jefferson. It's something like that, I think. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Oh, I didn't bring the book. And then the bag falls so over Max, and it's just full of wine. Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. I will. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Oh. oh all right. This is a tough one. Cause this family is so influential. I think that I think that she should, but if this was real life, I would say go to the police for sure. But it's it's a it's a game. If you do that, they won't believe you. Oh you know, I regret my choice. All those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. Actually, she, I, I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but Ma after how the principal reacted to, to like, Nathan had a gun, Max is kind of right. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. You hate to see it. I think Max is right. She's a broken clock that's stuck at 12.01 and it just hit noon, motherfuckers. That's what happened right now. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Do, 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 do. No, I'm, I'm I'm living with it. I'm living with it. Oh man, this is this is kind of good actually. This is a really hard decision. Oh man, like if it wasn't for the principal, I would I would like yeah go to the police for sure. But the principal like didn't even take it seriously when it came to a fucking gun. Like this. Ah oh, fuck. This is so hard. I bet you if you say go to the police, it's going to be equally like, oh, good job, you told her she has to go to the police by her. C can we go with her? God, fuck. Shit. No, I'm living with my choice. I'm living with my choice. I think it's more interesting if I just live with my choice. Oh, it's been way more than 40 minutes. Oh, it's been exactly... It's been ex... <laughs> no, it hasn't. I'm bad at math. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Food, two whales. See you there. Saves coming as the mechanic in this game. Yeah, but like, no matter. Then I have to rewind again. I'm going to live with my choice. I'm curious to see what she says if you do the other way, but like. No, then I have to see it three times, you know? I guess we could. Can we rewind all the way back there? Oh man, we just teleported. Oh, what? Did I just cancel it? Is it because I wasn't in the room? No matter what happens, I'm I'm going I'm going back with my original choice. That was my original choice. I just want to see what she says the other way. And are you sure? Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap up? Uh oh. Why? Uh oh. I'm just. Uh oh. Being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. So, Max? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. 
And also Principal Wells. No, not Principal With Wells. Who's my backup witness? They'll have to take us seriously now. Whoa, what, what back? Whoa, 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 whoa. What backup witness? I wasn't there. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Your problem, your rules. I'm not... NTW, not the witness. What? No. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Yeah, Nothing. both these options suck. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Damn. This is definitely a big ECH. Every choice sucks here. Yep. ECSH. Is it? All right. Look for proof. All right. This is. I'm living with my choice. If Look for proof. That. Every choice shucks. Yeah. There you go. Can I go wipe out the thing off the mirror now? Oh my god, I can! I can! Oh, awesome. Okay, Even good. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Just kidding. It's back. Not my problem. <gasps> oh, he's a Disney prince. He's just hanging out with the birds? Ooh. Okay. Uh, this this looks wrong, but I don't know, don't know enough about birds to dispute it. Will birds do this? Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. I have a bad feeling about Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. <laughs> I do love the early morning. <laughs> Everything is so calm and quiet. <laughs> and I can feel the animals waking up with me. <laughs> what the fuck? That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. <laughs> what animals do you see in the forest? Dear. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking at Samuel like would never that. laugh at that. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> so, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. In my swimsuit. Hey there, young Max. What's, what's this, is he gonna be like the fucking the snow shoveling guy in Home Alone at the end? Just out of nowhere, Max is gonna be in trouble, and he's just gonna Samuel's gonna show up, and be like, "Hey there, young Max, having some trouble there?" I just go bong, like for, knocks Nathan out in the back. Like, spoilers for Home Alone. Sorry. <gasps> Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Legit thought she was about to eat it. Time for some breakfast. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. She's not jelly. <laughs> hey, you're the one who said my video sucked earlier. I'm not laughing at your joke. That wasn't funny. I'm crossing my arms. Fuck you. So not funny. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? You're not Victoria. Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. Or just smack. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Never mind. Lamayo got her. That was a great talk, Max. <laughs> let's not do it again. Lamayo got her. Oh, fuck 
you, Taylor. Oh, Levi O'Connor. Oh, shit. Rumbled. Rumb okay, I, I'm changing my mind. Let's talk. Taylor, conversation over. Oh, oh, well. Do 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 I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to he a bully. He has tiny and hands. Awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl. Yeah, you left him fighting with someone who you know has a gun, like on him. What the fuck, Max? She's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. I'm also a pirate. Which begs the question. Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Should we reload for Taylor? Idiot. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Let's go ape! No. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. Is that a real choice? I kind of want to talk to Taylor. Hi, Taylor. K Kate's video. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Bossy best friends. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, Taylor. I heard your mom's sick. Hi, that Taylor. sucks. Let's Why bully her about it. About your mom. <laughs> I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. Cool. What, what happened to her? <laughs> well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Great talk. Now nah, I'm good. Magic. Fine. It would what be in character for her, though, about? wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Old well, school ape films. I, I haven't seen any cool. of those. I'll text you the info. Are the remakes old school now? Uh oh. Uh oh. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. I'm telling you, man, D David Cage is the is the um, fucking like surprise hero of the story. I'm telling you, he's not talking to Nathan. He's interrogating him a little bit. He's like, hey, what's going on? Like, what the fuck? Like, he he's onto something. Or Rachel. Why did you set it? There's gonna be like this this airing of dirty laundry of David Cage later on. Like, why did you have security cameras in your house set up? Cause someone keeps stealing my fucking guns. Why did you want security cameras in the school? Because fucking kids keep going missing. Like, I found a bullet hole in the back of the school, you know? Like, why don't you want your daughter smoking pot in her room? Because this was based in 2013, it wasn't legal yet. I won't let my kids smoke pot in the house. Actually, would I? Ah, oh, fuck, I guess I would. Honestly, I just don't want the smell in my house. I just don't want the smell. That's literally the only reason. Okay, we have real birds next to JPEG birds, all right? Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. 
hope nobody steals my lot. Talk about going back. Oh shit! Fucking hell! Exactly the same. Wait, what? You guys? Wait, are you guys talking? Hold on. Steals my lottery ticket. Can't wait to be rich. Yep. God damn it. Remember the Moncton story? The guy fucking like coming out of the fucking convenience store down the street and he's like past this Lily and me and he's like just bought a bunch of scratch tickets, gonna go home and scratch him, hope I win, and he just kept fucking walking. Same day someone walking past us, so that new stadium is almost done downtown, that sure is gonna bring in a lot of new jobs to the city. Hello woman. She looks busy and stressed. Yeah, let's add to it. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I literally just Oh, it was a school bus. Never mind. I just got It was a school bus. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. She says with no oh, information. That's a relief. Oh. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. Okay. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, and yet you do. How curious. Thanks, I sure need it. I'll just keep waiting and hope the bus comes. Hey, old guy. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. He doesn't look that old. No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> what, what are these gas prices? Excuse me? What? They're just fucking riffing over there, huh? What? It's updated in real time. It's multiplied in real time. <gasps> uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Nah. Alright, what's what's the RV guy's end game? Alright, I can totally sneak past him. Okay, what if I like like hack it? No 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 stop 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 shit. Okay, what if I like just like bomb 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 No, can't do it can't do it. Joe, you can't get past the dog. Stop wasting time. I once climbed up a wall that was three times higher than the main character in, in the fucking Star Wars game and was out, lost an Estus flask for the whole fucking playthrough. Okay? Like, yeah. Sorry, it doesn't say first time chatter next to your name, alright? Like, I'm fucking, like, I'm gonna, I tried, alright? Because it could have happened. The other day. Are we breaking Star Wars Jedi 2? Fucking day one I am streaming that. I even have an idea that I'm gonna ask Merrick to- I'm gonna commission some fan art from- from Merrick for- for the occasion. Groundhog Day. The faculty? The facility? I love these easter eggs. Donnie Darko? The killing! Oh man. Gunnar Gunnarsson. Yeah. North... North? No... Noth nothing? No... I don't know this one. Northern Lion. North by North... North by North? North North? Another Earth? Oh, it is another Earth, I think. Oh, that one's hard. I remember another Earth. That was a bad show. Hey, fisherman, what's your story? Hey, you want to sign a, pet a, a petition to save the fish? He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Whoa, and you look like a photo of a classic loser hipster. Don't fucking judge people. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. <laughs> so judgmental. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. <laughs> oh, fuck. Just imagine being that guy and some girl comes up and says that to you. They're just standing in the grocery store with your fucking N7 hoodie on and someone comes to you, Man, you look like you're ready for some serious gaming. Like, what the fuck, Max?
<laughs> I wish, young gal. I wish. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. All the fish are gone. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no fucking way. This guy's LARPing. This guy's LARPing. There's no fucking way. He's... <laughs> There's no fucking way. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. King of the harbor, lord of the manor, king of the. <laughs> you did good. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor right. Finance fiends, Prescott. <laughs> He's looking at his face. He's like, yeah, I fucking ate them. Permanent grimace. He's like, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, yeah, those fucking Prescotts. The Prescotts have a lot of power. Yep. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Nah, they're not. Do you, Do you know, know them? them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish call. <laughs> Someone was so proud when they wrote that line. Downcast, feeling bad, casting, like you're casting a fishing line. Yeah, fucking nailed it. Gonna sleep well tonight. What? This is full on David Cage right now. Bali High. <laughs> never forget that old fishermen never die. You just smell that way. Yeah. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I think I've talked my quota for the year. <laughs> RJ MacReady! His name is MacReady! <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. His name is MacReady! <laughs> Holy shit! He's LARPing for sure. Something Hunt? Elephant? Was there a movie or a show called Elephant? God, I hope he's in, he's at like a club later and he's just dancing in normal clothes. He'd be like, hey, aren't you that fisherman? He's like, what, you thought I was a real fisherman? That's just my day job. I just I just pose outside that diner pretending to be a fisherman so people think they have fresh fish that have been caught that day. You think McReady was my real name? Elephant is a movie about school shooting. Oh, is it? I've never heard of that. Homeless. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise... I'm... I'm so nervous and uncomfortable right now where this is gonna go. Oh my god. I'm so... Oh, remember how... Remember how fucking David Cage handled that? Oh, there's so many shitty moments in Beyond Two Souls. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling so cagey, yeah, so cagey. Oh fuck. Young woman, I know all about Blackwell and this town. How long have you lived in Arcadia, Arcadia Bay? Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. So the Prescott family owns you? What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Go to Seattle. You must know Joyce, Joyce Price, Price sorry. Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. David Cage. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like him. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like him. You know what? He's right. You know, like, 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 there should be more support and shelters, but how else is she going to get herself out of the situation? So in a way, he's just, he's, you know, tough love, but hey, he's right. 
she does have to find some sort of employment to get herself out of this bad situation that she's in. Just like he has to set up the security cameras in his home because his guns keep going missing and people are dying at the school. Like, you know what? Like, yeah, he's right. And he doesn't want Chloe going to wherever the fuck that was. I don't know where because he just knows some, 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 you know, some crazy shit goes down around there, you know? Like, yeah, not true. Fucking not, not true. Not, not the asshole. Sorry, stream chat. Asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but... He better treat her right. Yeah, we have to we have to trust Joyce's taste, right? Joyce must see something in him. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. No. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. It's me. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. <gasps> oh shit! What's going on? Oh. Huh, it's kind of weird that you can go back here. Oh, is that a... A, a milk machine? A milkshake machine? Yes, we're open. Bacon and eggs, only five ninety five. Old fashioned service. Damn, five ninety five for bacon. Is it? Is it? Oh, sorry. It's bake bacon and eggs. You get one piece of bacon and some eggs. That's not too bad. All right, what do we want to look at while we're waiting? Do you guys want to look? Do you guys want to stare at McReady? All right, I will be back in five minutes. I'm gonna go pee. Hi, whores. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! Is the world on fire? The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. He's right. I keep Based? reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Girls? What? You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? True. Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Amazing. This is getting more cagey as it goes on. Anyone else think so? God damn. Just missing everywhere. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Oh, like last week? I love a little diner. Anyone else with me? I really like diners like this. Hey. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Oh, damn, I'm sorry. Still morning. Thank you. No, it's afternoon. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Weird lady. Hello there to you! Such a be- Beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? <gasps> Oh, that's about it, eh? All right. Oh, let me squeeze Bart right by you there. Oh yeah. Hello again. Back to breakfast, day. Eh? When in doubt, open it out. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Uh, my favorite Mitch Hedberg joke is that uh, I I think he's he goes I think Bigfoot is blurry. That's the problem. And that's terrifying. There's there's a large out of focus monster roaming around in the wilderness. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Hello, whacked. Kate Marsh, love you long time. How is Kate Marsh such a fucking celebrity? Rachel owes me a BJ. So does your mom. Ho oh, ho. Gross. Yeah, gross that she never paid. Flush before pissing on the floor. It's so true. I aim to misbehave. Nice Firefly reference. Nice. Looking bad, Max. Arcadia Gay 
sucks deck. What does that even mean? What? Thank you, redneck poet. <laughs> what does that even mean? Even, even if you replace deck to dick, Ar Arcadia Gay sucks dick. Like, <laughs> equals cat. Equals cat. Such a weird game. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Let me suffer quietly. Man, he, he said that like it was one sentence. Leave me alone, or I will vomit on you. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No, no. I've been here many times. It's like a fourth home. <laughs> I wish I could make the two whales my first home. Joyce making rocket coffee or juicy burgers any time. Mm. <laughs> you look about Chloe's age. I am Chloe. Surely Joyce is going to be pissed with us too for not calling? Like, Joyce is probably like a second mom to Max. Then again, it's Max, so she's probably happy to have her out of her hair. You know what? It makes sense. So, you know Chloe? Everyone knows Sadly, Chloe. we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. <laughs> it was me. Is that really a big thing? At least she was chilling in her room. How do you know she was chilling in her room? Oh, man. You just said so. She might have been getting high or getting her spray cans ready or whatever. I'd like to think the best of it, but she's now in the Arcadia Bay Police database. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Wait, holy shit. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm breaking one of my rules. I'm talking to a cop. I'm sorry. I have to go now. Holy shit. Enjoy your breakfast. Where anyway, are my manners? Certain? Running late. Grab a booth. Oh, she's late. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be like, how, how, 40 minutes. How are you so late? What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Is that a different voice from last time? Shouldn't you be taking photos? I, I am, am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying. Cop in earshot. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? Up School. here. School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. I don't know why, and I'm sorry if Trevor is your name, but Trevor is- Oh shit! The ghost of Trevor just like fucking interrupted. I think Trevor is just one of the most hilarious names to, to say. I just love saying the name Trevor. It's just such a fucking Trevor. Like it's just a great like fuck you name, you know what I mean? Oh, Trevor's right here. Hey, hey Trevor. Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. Oh, who isn't? How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. He's sitting right there. She's in class, Max. Those rigs are too damn big. Oh, big rigs. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Uh, no, I wasn't though. You turned you turned around. Everything is in eyesight. Sorry. This is just just fucking Moncton simulator. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smart ass. Like you. Joyce Ooh. rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Didn't call. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Why is Max smiling? So unreasonable. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. What? What's new pussycat? Let's put it on. 27 times. Salt and pepper diner. Here we go. Banjo tune. Bomb bomb bomb. What's new pussycat? Oh, hell yeah. For some reason, I, I read Trucker as Trudeau. All right, can I get some food, Joyce? Hey, Joyce, you don't recognize me at all? I look identically as I did last time. Uh-oh, someone's upset. 
Please don't recognize her. Please don't recognize her. And Who the fuck are you? Is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. Give her some <laughs> shit. Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. Is he? I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. Very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. Jo Joyce, you really, you really don't know that it was just covering for Chloe? Really? I expected more out of Joyce. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel... Bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. Great I'm glad, memories. Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe has changed. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. I thought well, she know. hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared David me. David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Okay. Like a great friend. Great Chloe friend. Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. What? He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He, he cares, cares about, about Kate, Kate Marsh? Marsh? Who the fuck is Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? Yesterday, I took a picture of him fighting with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Burger. All right. Now, I would choose the bacon omelette, but Max is definitely a hipster Belgian waffle girl. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Do, 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 now finish do. your coffee. These actions will have consequences. And then she brings over the food and puts it on the table. There you go. There's the consequence. What's new, pussycat? Don't put the other song back on. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. The God, lighthouse Peter. looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. I hate her so much. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of God, Chloe... Me neither. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Hey, whores. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are With you what? atoning for yesterday? Oh, With God, what money? No, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Why do they keep saying it? It's like they're trying to convince themselves of it too. Why do you keep bringing it up? Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <gasps> Wait, isn't she vegetarian Another reason or something? To this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. What's well, rude? Someone put that on. That's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof. You can rewind time. I would. Oh, you this haven't seen proof. Happening so and you fast. believe it? We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. All right, show me, and I'll rewind time. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Time paradox. Wait, wait, wait. Ma Max, why are you surprised that you didn't get it right? You're not psychic. You know you have to see what it is and then rewind. How stupid are you? Did you just like, I just know from the future. Like, like what? Panda keychain with a key. Cigarettes. Coins. Five silver and six copper. Are those quarters? Oh yeah, they're quarters. Okay, so three, three quarters, one nickel and six pennies. This is a warning ticket. Do we, do we need to know the time? Four, no, it's three quarters. That's a that's a nickel up top, right? This isn't Fantasy Joe. It's real. What do you mean? It's three quarters and it's a nickel and six pennies. What the fuck are you guys talking about? You said silver is a... I was just doing the color of the coins. That's how my family used to just fucking say the colors of the coins when they would stack shit up just to make it easy. They would just like the fucking like when we would play like card games and shit. I was just like categorizing it by color just at a glance. So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay. All right. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Hella... S money. Some money. How much Clearly money? Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Uh... Oh, shit. Okay, so it was... It, it's 86. 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Uh, parking, parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.30 something. 10.34. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Yeah. What the hell that means? We already had our, our once earlier though. Yeah. Uh, cigarettes. Is it, she asked what brand? Because I didn't I'm catch that. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh shit, I didn't count that. It wasn't 13. It was 7. It was 7. A superpower that allows you to count nice. cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's shit. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad. Totally didn't reach out. I actually legit didn't. I went to my mind palace and I remembered looking at how the how they looked and I was like, it's six or seven, and I think it was like uneven at one point, so I just went and that just made me think seven. I legit did not read chat. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Now kiss. You have powers. Or... I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Chloe, go wash your hands. Man, you just I'm... handle all that fucking change and shit in your pockets. Go wash your hands before you eat. What are you doing? Do you know how dirty money is? Go wash your fucking hands. You're like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. Okay, I can I teleport around the diner. The, the, the diner, no here we way. go. Alright, Joyce is gonna trip. Oops. Yep, Did there we go. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Okay, drop Shh. the cup. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? <gasps> You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. I love how we have to we have to do something and uh all of a sudden, like the diner like springs to life, so we have something to talk about. Oh no, it's the weird lady. That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. There is no song. is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Wild. All right, what happens to the juice spot? Do a cockroach? A co a fucking a fucking snail breaks the fucking 
an insignificant fucking cockroach breaks the fucking jukebox. Okay, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops. Does he also eat a donut? I think his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Okay. Well, Joy stops them. Justin and Trevor are fine. And then, as a cockroach crawls on it, the jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if. Because of a snail. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Because of hey, a Hey, where's my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use you, it. You, you've, you've been of using it as one. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Okay, I, I'm annoyed that she's saying predicted. It's not predicted, it's just like, hey, I saw it and I'm telling you about it. I guess you could say predicted. Eh. Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. Oh, I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. Is this the fuck you around episode? You did not just say that. Uh, <laughs> check out your nose. Oh no! The nosebleeds are starting now. Hey, of course they okay? are. Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again. Oh, so we then... did hook up. Let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. We didn't pay. We didn't pay. We didn't pay for breakfast. We have to pay for breakfast. Gotta pay for breakfast. You didn't even finish it. You didn't have any of your coffee. I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. My stomach plans ahead. <laughs> your stomach the truckers have such a romantic life. Greetings, fellow woman. I would like to pay for my food. I swear to God, if you get mad at me when I walk out of here, be like, hey, 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 aren't you going to pay? I, su I swear to God. How's it going, weird lady? Oh, yeah. Hello again. Back to breakfast, eh? Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? True! I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. I mean, Kate, Kate Marsh, she can wait a couple hours. She could wait a couple hours. I could call her back. What, what if I'm busy or something? It's, it's, it's one... It's one fucking phone call. Who cares? I, I agree that Chloe should also be able to wait, but like, it's just, just because you're calling doesn't mean I have to talk to you. I'm already hanging out with Chloe. This phone call is interrupting this, this conversation. I'm already in a social engagement. Like, oh, sorry, another social engagement is interrupting this. I need to take it. Like, no. What the fuck? What do you mean Chloe's wrong? What if it's an emergency? Then she'll call again. <sighs> hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? Is she gonna wait? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Oh, she's wait. Okay, the way that was framed, I thought Chloe was just gonna fuck off and we're gonna miss a scene with Chloe. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate... Please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. <gasps> Uh-oh. What did Katie even say? Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. What, what fun are we gonna have? David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Uh, who, uh, 
Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm you stole his gun rebel. and now you're waving it around with like the most awful trigger discipline ever. What do you? She's awful. And yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. What's Great. the test gonna Yuck. be? You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Russian roulette? Just rewind okay, if it this. was the wrong one. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles. Pretty please. Yay. Find five bottles. Oh, she's drinking light beer too? Fucking hell, what a monster. I don't like you, Chloe. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. You didn't I talk to me for five range, years. Cry, baby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods. So bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Oh yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. I'll <laughs> no probably baby. fly next. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Oh, does Chloe have to die? Gonna keep you on the path of badassness, like not answering your phone. At least not everything is broken around here. For Hello, now. bottle number one. One more to go. Let's sit and think. Damn, cool to be hanging out with Chloe again. Although this junkyard is a dive, <laughs> I see why Chloe hangs here. <laughs> She's a steampunk. Did she really call her a steampunk? I spaced out. Boom. Only three bottles left. Oh no! We have to get supplies for the for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first. Dot dot dot. Or whatever. Anyway, go ape. Too late. Smiley face. No, I'm trying to tell you. Five is too late. I'm not going. Oh. Unhappy face. What's too late? I already went ape? Man, he's thirsty, huh? Can't believe I'm saying this, but, but Max deserves better. Big Sonic fan vibes. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. <laughs> oh my fucking god! What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, take it back. Warren, you know, Warren doesn't deserve- they both deserve to be alone forever. What the fuck, Max? Oh, time for another, uh, monologue. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. Yeah, it's trying to tell you to leave. If you rewind far enough, you'll go back to Seattle. That's what it wants. Man, we are just like crawling through glass on the pace of this one, huh? We are just so long this to do everything. This was an old school punk shirt. It's probably Chloe's. Damn, I wonder how many other people in Arcadia died in car crashes like Chloe's dad. Maybe I should ask her. Uh oh, it's gonna break. Stupid bottle. Stupid bottle. All right, now just do it better. Stupid bottle. Stupid bottle. Just do it better. Are we really gonna have to, like... Okay. Now let's get a pillow so it doesn't smash. Max, sorry to have bothered you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. What do you mean? Kate, we, we talked after this! Kate, that is so not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend, and you delivered. I'm on your side. Xo Tittle. What, what the fuck was this pivot? This was a real human conversation. Chloe was here. Rachel was here. Max was here. Oh, oh, please have the consequence butterfly show up after this. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Yeah! Chloe's gonna get mad at us now. 
What do you mean Max was here? I don't want to intrude, but I was here. You're intruding. So awkward, bud. So Rachel bud. did go to a Vortex Club party. Ain't no party like a Vortex this Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. She was also drugged like Kate, but for whatever reason, Kate didn't pass the, the, the mutagen test. But Rachel did. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Game is like totally all over the place, isn't it? And sometimes I think it works. Gone I think it works more Angeles, outside of dialogue. Really. The tonal shifts in dialogue are not... They don't work all the time. Sometimes they work. But I feel like the finding things like that does work. I bet Rachel's way less annoying than Max. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Isn't she wearing makeup? What's up with this weird secret relationship? I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. What, let's show it to her. What are those numbers there? I met somebody recently who's so different from the lame Vortex Club snobs. I know you'll have a meltdown when I tell you and think he's gross, but I swear he's wise and unconventional. I hate not sharing this with you, except I know you'd give me that stink eye and grill me for every stupid detail. If if I even told you that last night we hooked up near 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 campus. Oh, I thought Chloe and Rachel were a couple for sure. Oh man, I was wrong. Okay. Well, I guess they still could be. Um, so she's talking about Samuel, right? For sure. Samuel? Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Max, what the fuck? Thanks, what does Max. shooting at bottles have anything to do with uh, time travel powers? Learn how to fire a gun by just shooting the same bottle over and over and over again with the Wait, same bullet? One more for the road. That's a good idea, actually. But why do we know how to? Why do we need to know how Are to fire a gun? Serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. What are we doing? Oh, are, we, are we playing as Chloe now? Up. Left. Will she go you even have to further? Really pay attention. No, no, I can't make her go even further because it's her point of reference is locked in. So, okay. This is going to be fine. When she's so shit at firing a gun that she needs time travel powers to correct her shot. Okay. Just get better at shooting? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Yeah. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. All right, Max. I have Nathan in my sights. I'm gonna fire, take the shot. Here I go. Pew. Skims past his head. All right. Rewind. All right. A little to the right. Duh. All right. Pew. All right. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, Nathan's dead. My God, we just killed someone. I want to get creative here. Gonna close your eyes? Hello, what should I shoot? Shoot the barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. <laughs> Listen to those fat boys. Oh, uh, what are we doing? Oh my god. All right, hold on. <laughs> Oh, this could go so bad. All right. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now. Oh man, I thought it went into, into Max's head there. Hella what? yes. Hella yes. Why are we I doing this? Tech? No, now rewind. That's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? No. <laughs> like never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Bumper, windshield, Dude, I need a before tire, I shoot. gas tank. Let's shoot the bumper. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> this, I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, close. Stupid gun? Stupid bottle? Put a real dent in that front bumper. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Back Stupid up! gun! <laughs> Hold on, Chloe. Put a real dent in that front bumper. <laughs> actual psych- bumper. Actual psychopath? <laughs> Jesus, I shot myself! Oh, man. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. And then it crushes her. 
uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. You just died three times. How are we still not? I don't know. We should stop shooting, right? Max, your nose. Damn. Damn, hella damn. I don't feel so super. Max! I'm sorry. Did she just, her friend just shot herself by fucking around and finding out. And her response was, stupid gun? Stupid gun? You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? Who am I? A little. I? Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? You died Maybe three times. Not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. Still fucking with the gun. I better go chat up Chloe. Now we have proof that she stole the gun. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Uh oh. Where is it, Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you? He looks like a World of Warcraft NPC. Chloe. Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Shoot him. This is this is self-defense. Do it. Please step back. Shoot him. You're kidding. Put that down. I will absolutely shoot him if he lets me. He pulled the knife. I don't. Yeah, I'm shooting. I don't give a fuck. I'm shooting. That is hilarious. What the hell, Chloe? Serious. Oh man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me, and you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. I'm rewinding. I'm rewinding. You I'm have rewinding. until Friday to pay me. I'm rewinding. Don't ever pull crap like this again. I want to rewind. It'll be the last time you do. Let me rewind. This is so not equals Keck. This is not the future. Oh, okay. We know he's coming. Let's run away. Wait, what the fuck are we doing? Chloe, let's go. He's going to come. Let's go. Chloe, fucking get on your boots, love. Let's fucking go. Are you ready to do this? We yeah, there's get. a guy coming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Make me proud, sister. Oh. Well, she hey, tried. Come on, girly. Shoot me. There's no bullet in the gun. I won't. I can't. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Oh, did we lose the gun now? Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Well, looks like we're rewinding again. You have until Friday to pay me. Or I'll track you down. Chloe's gonna turn me. Jesus, Max. Uh, G Jesus, Max. Why didn't you shoot him? <laughs> this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. Did you want me to kill a man, Chloe? Chloe. Chloe. Freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Yeah, so many more in Let's your blow. dad's cabinet. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. All right, I don't know what choice. Frank I'm, is I'm, gone. I'm going with this fuck one. With us again. Fuck it. He just wants his money. 
Man, if only we could rewind and do one uh, another choice instead of these two arbitrary binary ones. Like, hey, hey, we just we just demonstrated to to Chloe that we can see the future. Rewind. Hey, Chloe, this some guy you owe money is around the corner. We need to get the fuck out of here right now. But no, no, we can't do it. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not God, Max, why didn't you kill him? Mad? It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. There's no way Frank was, like, Rachel's secret boyfriend, was it? Feels like a different world, huh? Yeah, let's I just lay down on the train tracks. Who would ever do this? How could you even feel comfortable doing this? Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Frank? Seriously, Chloe. This is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. No, there's Max, no bullets in the gun. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? No, he doesn't. Frank Bowers, he's just oh, a dealer. Okay. Where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. He only had eyes for Rachel. I just made the mistake Rachel. of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? She gave it to him. My brain is fried. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Excuse me? It's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Rachel and I? Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? Hella no. You're not that different. She had... Has... A great eye for images. Yeah, she was basically just you, just better in every way, Max. Art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best hella. friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. Oh, fucking hell. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beef poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Yeah, and shoot people when you can. Oh no, my foot's stuck. Oh no. Perfect. Ah! Gamepad's going Help! nuts. I'm stuck! Hold on, Chloe. Okay, just take your boot off. No, they're really expensive. The train. Oh shit. Okay, just take your boot off. Find something. Bring me. Just take your fucking boot off. Wait, oh my god, what am I doing? I want to see her die at least once. Max, please. Where is it? Where's the train? I'll, I'll die with you, don't worry. Oh no. Please. <laughs> Kind of mildly terrifying. Just want to keep the train where I can see it. Here we go. But, but which wire to cut? The yellow wire. Whoa. The red one. Now that's the right cable. Yeah. Max, now this is paw racing. Yes, I did it. Oh. Okay, you saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn, that 
was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. Okay. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Unless you go back to Seattle. Is this the end of the episode? We still have to go to the drive-in with, uh, with, uh, Warren. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Oh, here we go. What do you what know? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe, some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. You're not a, a geek. A perfect example of strange attractors. Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like you said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Oh, that was it. That that was the whole. That that was the whole talk. Okay. All right. Don't want to give it away too too early, I guess. I don't know. Was it the end of the episode? God, I hope so. No. All right. I'm going straight over top to Samuel. Hello, climate change. Again with the climate change. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Who the fuck is Courtney? I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Time paradox. Oh, I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. Why do we want to go? I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Okay. Damn. Max needs time travel powers to be cool. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? Mm, no? No, I mean, I don't have anything to tell you. More secrets. Now, excuse me. I have a meeting to attend. Max, I have a meeting. Excuse me. Okay, go to your meeting then. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong. But upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been. See? Close. You're a combat. I'm man. telling you, man. She's no threat to you. I'm telling if I didn't you. Care about her? I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. You treat Kate bad. What about Kate? You treat Kate bad. But you treat Kate pretty bad. I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. Time it will take powers. more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your res- Is there more than one student missing? If they just like in episode three, if they just reveal, oh, by the way, Rachel is like number seven in a long line of missing students. I'm going to be fucking pissed because that feels like there should be way more. That should be given way more attention. Responsibility as head of security. Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Damn. I'm telling you, David is the secret hero. Nope. You can't help me. I'm trying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Yep. She understands us. Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. Oh. 
What? Oh, don't mind me. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba Maybe this is your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being Not that brittle. Video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting it. Maybe Worth a rewind. Of hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Dark yet witty. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Does she say godium for the other one? Weird science. Lots of. Pot right, does she say godium? I have a vision. Oh, fuck it. Godium. Oh. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. <gasps> Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. And then they died. She blinded me with science. Really mean, Mr. Jefferson. Why did you walk away? It's weird. It. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Oh, I see. I'm not important to you anymore. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Just um, between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. Oh, God, why? You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? No. No, I don't. I'm fine. Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. You can talk to me anytime. And Max, can I talk to you about Kate? I assume no. you know about this viral video. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? Really? She what? means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. What? She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Okay, I don't trust you now. So I want to, like... I would say yes, and she thinks she might have been drugged or whatever. Can you help? But now I think I can't, this guy has lost trust now, so I feel like I should say no. All right, I'm going my instincts. No. Instincts. I just don't want Kate Marsh to be the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? No. Nope. Hmm. No. Nope. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. And we're Listen, the photography club. Should I? <laughs> Excuse me, Max. Do you get it? Because we're not the drama Hello? club. <laughs> yes? Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Hold on. Did Rachel Amber escape? I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. One of them broke out of contain containment. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Listen, I'll be my class after I have to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, I know, that makes sense. Huh? Mm -hmm. Seriously, I have to hang up now. Let's talk about this later. Thanks for calling me. Okay, I have to go. I just can't have this conversation right now. Please just take the phone. How is this not looping yet? Mm -hmm. Listen, I do have a class. Alright, there we go. Left, then right. Show me the love. Don't take a photograph without someone's permission. That's fucked up. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. <laughs> What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Paparazzi on? Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Oh, she actually is blushing. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. 
freaked out. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying uh -oh. fuck. No time to talk run to Mr. Jefferson. It's like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Meow. Bring out the claws. I love... Where's this backbone coming from all of a sudden? I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Assholes. Now I'm not even gonna sit. I'm not even sitting down. I just wanted you to move, and you did. I won. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk around the table. Yeah, fuck you. Look, I'm not sitting. I'm like a shark circling around your horse shit. Here I go. Oh, I'm gonna. Is, he, is she gonna sit? She's gonna sit. Oh no. Oh, walking by it again. Oh, 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 oh. this is the one. This is the one. This it is. It is the one. Yeah, it is. Okay, you're right. All right. You know, you can't win them all. Oh, Kate's gonna get struck by lightning. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Because he thinks she's the next one to get kidnapped. That's why. And he's probably right. Alright, what are we doing? Nothing? Oh, for fuck's sake. How is your face getting worse as time goes on? What oh, because of the explosion. Okay. Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Oh no. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. Maybe I'll see you later. Fuck out of here, Warren. So little time as usual. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think- Man, this school really is expensive with this few amount of students in every class, huh? Holy shit. Everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. It's like it 30 like people in every single one of my classes. Maybe I guess Kate will miss class now. I mean, it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. And made us have to buy it for the class. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of... <laughs> what? Also, why is the teacher, like, like admonishing everyone for what's going on with Kate when even he doesn't believe about Kate? What? Participation. There are a few... <laughs> what the fuck? ...here who have yet to win her photo in the contest. Uh, Max Caulfield, oh. for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Oh, yeah. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Uh-oh, he's losing power. Dismissed. Oh. oh no. Oh no. How come he only cares about, like, the side of the class that we're on? He's always sitting, like, looking at us. Step away from the ledge. Alright, time to check my phone because someone texted me during that. I don't want to look in, in class. Max, wish you had popped a cap in Frank's ass instead of giving him the gun. Chloe, do you listen to yourself? No, Chloe, I do not wish that and neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? Tell her I did do that and there was no bullet in the gun. So I think this is actually okay. I have to be really careful here because I almost said something really fucked up, and I don't mean it that way. Okay, I don't. Okay, I don't think her jumping off the ledge and killing herself is actually a reasonable response, obviously. But her reacting this strongly to what happened to her, I think, is a reasonable response. 
considering that she she was drugged and she did something that she wasn't supposed to ever do from or a lot of pressure from her family from from her like social circles how she how she presents herself to to the world how she has been like taken advantage of she can't even remember what she did it was just like an innocent little she went to a party whatever i feel like her reaction to this her having this strong reaction like the teachers aren't taking it seriously there's someone like stalking her i think that this reaction it tracks like obviously her jumping off no that's that's too far but yeah, I, th I think this makes sense. How long has she been up there? Oh shit! What the f- This is panic rewind. <laughs> oh my god. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh, now we can freeze time. Oh, we can. Now we can freeze time. Let's move the birds. Okay. If you move something when it's frozen in time, like, like the speed at which the air moves around it would, like, ignite all the molecules around it, right? I remember learning that from XKCD or whatever. We're, we're killing everybody right now by walking past them. Oh, look at you. All right, here we go. Go to the roof. Are we just gonna teleport right up there? Let's not have a light frozen time. Yeah, we should be blind right now. How are we even seeing? Maybe we're just yes. walking into the light. Ooh, would that work? If light was frozen, as you walked forward, as long as you kept moving, could you see? But as soon as you stop, you're blind again? Would that work? Light can't free- Motherfucker, we're, we're freezing time! It's a supernatural hypothetical! Well, if, the, if time is frozen, Joe, then, then, like, no, because life can't be frozen as well. Like, okay. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't come near me. Not now. Saving you. It won't work. I don't have any power. Uh, now eat some I have food. to do this by myself. Uh oh. Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? There are no continues, my friend. I've been bullied too. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was scared. I wanted proof. I had no idea. All right. All right, let's actually think about what's going on here, okay? I've been bullied too. Well, not like this. You have no idea what I'm going through. How dare you try to relate to me? Yeah, that's not going to work. I was scared. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't I didn't care enough about you to overcome my fear. Uh, I wanted proof. I wanted to... Uh, proof of what? You didn't know what was going on with me back then. I had no idea. I had no idea that things were so bad for you. I think that that's the best one. I think that's the best one. I had no idea what was going on between you and David. Really? So you took a picture to find out? No, I didn't mean- How else would I find out? You'll find out if I jump right now. Everybody will. Kate, don't. Please. Get out of here, Max. You can't change my mind. My life sucks and I want it over. Now. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. <laughs> okay, you're making me feel a little better, but I'm still not away ready to step away from the ledge. Say something else nice and maybe I will consider it. Go. You're my friend. I'm here for you. You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. That's true. You did pick up that phone call when I called you earlier. You did answer it. And you, you did tell me that you were going to be there to help me look for proof. That's true. Yes. Okay. I will step away for this. I did feel better talking. <laughs> no fucking way. No fucking You on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. Oh, please. <laughs> now you want to help me? 
What about this morning when I needed it? You told me to do nothing. No, I didn't. I'm gathering proof. Yeah, I'm gathering proof. Hey, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? No, Say, no. straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Mac. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. Morty on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. If only someone had wiped that off the off the mirror. Too bad, Max. Duh. Oh no. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Like that that note off the mirror. Be strong. There are billions of videos. Everybody will forget. I don't know. I don't. I did. All of these are bad. Oh, they're all awful. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, they're be strong. So you're saying that I'm not strong? No, these could all go bad ways. <sighs> Can I flip a coin? Can I flip a coin? Okay, I'm taking away everybody will forget. All right, so it's between it's between be strong and there are billions of videos. I'm 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 lightly tapping on X and Y on my gamepad hoping that one goes through. I'm going to be strong. Hey, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. The fast way. Meet you down you're there. My friend. Race ya jumps off. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. What? Nobody. What? Your mother, your father, your sisters, your brothers. Okay, hold on. The father gives a shit about her, right? The father really cares. The aunt was weird. I don't know if she even has sisters or brothers. It's got to be father, right? The mother was kind of weird. It was father. I think it was father. The father was nice to her. Kate. I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Oh man, I really wish I had rewind powers right now because it'd be hilarious to see. No, your sisters care about you, Kate. Max, I don't have any sisters. Duh. Like, come on, man. Like, Not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this route. So if I jump off, that's God's will too. Suicide is a sin. Proverbs 21.15. Matthew 11.20. I can't remember what those were. What was the fucking... I know, I know Matthew was definitely in one of them. Was Proverbs in there? I can't remember. I think Proverbs 21.15 was in there, wasn't it? Matthew 11.28 was definitely in there. Let's go with that one. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. That's in heaven, Max. Matthew Here I go. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. Yay! All right, let's reload. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. We're even. Step away from. Oh, that actually is gonna have consequences. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. It was all me. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. 
She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. <laughs> As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties. I was the closest one to that door. How the hell did you get in front of me, Max? How did you... I know the school like the back of my hand. I know that you were in class with fucking Jefferson. How did you get out of Jefferson's class ahead of me into the dorm up on the roof without me seeing you, Max? Seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. Uh -oh. And that is indeed your responsibility. Why is Nathan here? Mr. Jefferson? Oh, because he owns the school. I know you can't be okay. expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott. Kate, okay. uh, I... I feel like this is kind of bullshit. Like, okay, the door is being locked to the roof. Yeah, okay, yeah, they should have been locked probably. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm more willing to believe that. But hey, you should have known that one of your students was suicidal is kind of a fucked up thing to say. Since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Coffee. He fucking encouraged it. Yeah, but the principal doesn't know that. So he's he's right, but he's not right for the right reasons. Okay? Principal doesn't, like, unless the surveillance fucking is already up and he knows everything. His ears are all over the school. Okay? He's not right for the right reasons. Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. I have... I'm basically the Flash. Nathan dosed her. Jefferson made her cry. David bullied her. Okay, I don't know that Nathan dosed her. It seems pretty fucking likely, but I don't know. Jefferson made her cry. Yeah, but... Uh... Okay, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not throwing my boy David under the bus. This isn't Cage's fault. Although he is the most objectively guilty out of the three. Ah, shit, man. He's the most objectively guilty. But I don't think he actually is. Shit. But, like, we have the photograph and also he was, like, stalking her through the school. Like, Nathan, we don't know for sure if he dosed her, although it seems likely. And Jefferson just spaghettied out on a conversation at the, right before class. Uh, shit, man. Is there a secret option? Oh, fuck. I'm going Nathan. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded. Oh, that scratch healed quickly, huh? You're Playing a liar. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her, and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling... <laughs> Saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Oh, cool. All right. You stopped, so you stopped another student from killing herself off the roof, so we're going to have to suspend you. Fuck school, man. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Base. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Do I really like what happened here? Okay, you know what? Fuck you, David. Fuck you. Actually, fuck you. Just straight up, fuck you. Fucking dope bullshit. Fuck you, David. Fuck you, David. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. 
Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little... Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? Hey, you have any proof of that, Max? Well, actually I do, because I'm a photography student, so I keep my camera on with me all, all, all the time. Here's my Polaroid. whoop <gasps> oh My god. I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Not denying it. Here's a photo I took of David and Kate yesterday. That's not... Not proof. Hold on. This isn't a courtroom. But I feel it would be in the best interest of Blackwell and this situation to put you on temporary leave. Kangaroo Court! We will continue this conversation later. Hopefully with Miss Marsh when she's out of the hospital. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh! This is major bullshit! I led troops into battle, and you're letting this punk lead you? No. I am sorry, David. Okay, do we want to see what happens if we throw Jefferson under the bus? I think we're going with David, because that's the one that goes... that tracks the best. Because we didn't tell the principal about the gun. If we told the principal about the gun, then I think I think we should have went with that one, but we didn't, so we have to like go with the evidence that we have. As much as I, I have a feeling that David has actually got some good reasons for doing this shit... We, this is the one that we only have proof for, and we need to look out for ourselves. All right, let's see what will happen if we if we go with uh, go with Jefferson. I saw Mr. Je Make a student cry? That's not gonna fly. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class. Oh, event. look, he's so hurt! Wow, Max, I thought we had a bond. I can't believe that you just said that. Instead of me thinking, damn, I did make her cry. I should have done better. Kate. Oh, man. Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass. She didn't ask for any she of this. She didn't ask for this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Oh, hold on. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Wait, what? Well, now this is... Ooh. Whoa. What the fuck is Jefferson's angle here? What the... Okay, I think we actually legit just witnessed the speech 100. Holy shit. That... Whoa. What the fuck? Even I'm stunned. Holy fuck. Problematic. The publicity is rising and perhaps... You shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? <gasps> I am. Oh, no. We don't need any negative press about that event. <laughs> and we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. All right. Now, I, I'm really interested to see where this goes. Where does that ride? So you're going to use your time travel powers or what? Wait, you know about that? Of course. I've been morbing with you the whole time. Did Nathan actually jerk? Yeah, this, this is the point, right? There's no way that he's being straightforward and he's being this reasonable and compassionate. There's no way that he is that much of an asshole. There's gotta be more going on. And there's no way that he actually just straight up just drugged her or whatever. It's probably He probably... Maybe he did drug her, actually. But then he actually did take her to the ER. He had bad thoughts or whatever afterwards. And then she's like, no, I'm sobered up. And then she got out of the car and something else happened to her. Like, there's no way everything is this straightforward. Any day now, Max. You're in disorder. Fuck, David. Fuck David, though. Fuck David, though. We have proof for David. Fuck David. Fuck you, Cage. He's the only one that we have proof Mr. for. Ma this is the best best outcome for, for Max as well, right? We have to look after ourselves. Although, I do, I do dislike Max. <laughs> the sooner I sign this bullshit paper, the sooner I can get out of here. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. So thank you for coming in. I do. Oh. Maybe there is a secret principal option. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. We're talking to Warren? Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. You reached out, she reached out, 
hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. Uh-oh. I'm still worried about Kate. That's two girls that should she be dead now. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All and over the tornado video. grows. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So oh, your you face is better. It. Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. Now, I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? Oh, it's snowing again. The weather confirms this what? weird day. I feel that chill. There's a fucking eclipse? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. What do you mean there was no eclipse scheduled today and there's suddenly a fucking eclipse? This is gonna be like a worldwide story. Oh, there's a fucking localized eclipse in fucking Arcadia. What, what the? I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. There's an eclipse localized entirely in, in Arcadia in your eye of sight at this time of year. In this hemisphere, the moon moved. All that, all, all that air that you displaced while time was frozen actually went up and moved the moon. Oh my God! Telescopes today were pointing at the moon. I, I still telescopes, and it just fucking blipped out of frame. Oh, I have to go. Sorry, Joyce. Uh oh, who's that? Nathan's dad? It's gotta be Nathan's dad. Oh no, it's Jefferson! Why is he talking to Jefferson? Oh, fuck you, principal. You're not my pal. Fuck you. Oh, Jefferson's got a nice car. Oh no, why won't Jefferson bang me? I can't believe Kate didn't kill herself. Maybe we've gone too far. It's Frank's Endgame. Washington Hospital? Sorry about Kate, hope you're okay. Excuse me now. Let's find out what's going on. You try to kill yourself to put you in the hospital for I thought they put you in like a like a protective ward, not an actual straight up hospital, in a hospital bed. Like admitted. Uh-oh. Kelly, Rachel, who the fuck is this? Oh, we're never gonna find out. Oh it was meant to be Kate next. Who is trying to make Kate die the most? Jefferson for sure. I'm getting a really bad feeling. It's going to be like, oh, you thought Rachel was the first girl that went missing? There's been countless others before that. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Max. Oh, you didn't know? You didn't know about Kelly? You didn't know about Stephanie? You never asked, yeah. All right, let's see. How did we do? How did we do? All right. You told Kate to go to the police. 34%. You told Kate to wait for more proof. Ah, oh, the, the, the rare uh, in line. You answered Kate's... Ah, oh, 82%. God damn it. You didn't try to shoot Frank. Okay, well, I, I tried to shoot him first, and then we reloaded. You saved Kate's life. Nice. I think a lot of saves coming went into that for most. You blamed David. 12%. Oh, we're the lowest ending. Holy shit. Holy shit. Why is everyone blaming Nathan? Well, friend stats. Look at all these bleeding hearts and no one no one ignored Kate's call. Oh, they tried to shoot. Okay. I guess trying to shoot and you keep the gun is important for later, you save scumming scumbags. Everyone blame Nathan! Everybody, everybody blame Nathan. Because he shot Chloe at the beginning, how is he trustworthy? I don't think he, he went in there thinking, I'm gonna shoot her. I think that's just a stupid kid that, that something horrible happened. I, 
And he's a fucking asshole for sure. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to justify what he did whatsoever. But I don't think Nathan is like the fucking... The lord of the school who's like got a fucking mastermind plan or whatever. I think he's just a kid that's way out of his depth. I don't think he's the real reason why this shit was going on with Kate, you know? Maybe I'm wrong. He still did it. People don't pull the trigger of this militia. Yeah, of course he's he's an asshole. But just because he did that doesn't mean he's responsible for what happened with Kate. And that's what was going on, right? All right, what was that? We're in the school at nighttime? Okay, let's see. Let's get spoiled, all right? So apparently, before Rachel, there was a Lucy, Carol Ann, Ryuji, M or N, a Brittany, a Kira. Uh, I, I can't read the other ones. I can't read the other ones. Spoilers averted. Okay. How long has Jefferson been at the school for? Is he going to school to school? It's gotta- it's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be Jefferson. It's gotta be. He likes to kill his students. I don't blame him, they're terrible. Thoughts on episode two? Uh, you know, I'm interested. I hope it ends well. I'm engaged with the story. I like where it's going, actually. Right now, here's- here's a mark of if I'm enjoying a story or not. If we stop streaming it, I would finish it. On my own. I'm engaged enough to keep going. You erased the link to Kate's- <laughs> You didn't tell on David to Mr. Jefferson. Ooh. So most people fucking hate David and Nathan throughout the whole entire playthrough. All right. That doesn't bode well for uh, for replaying. These could be spoilers, I swear to God. All right, what about Chrysalis? Was there some that we missed there? You helped Alyssa. You did not- Yeah, get fucked, Alyssa. You did touch- <laughs> Who? Who fucking was like- all right, I'm not rewinding that. Look at this Chad 2% that were like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I did pick up your pregnancy test, and I want you to remember that forever. You broke Chloe's snow globe. <sighs> Look at all these people that reloaded. You didn't leave any evidence. Oh. You read David's files. Wait, is it David that has the files? Is David behind this? It can't be David. It's too obvious. It can't be David. I'm gonna be so disappointed if it's David. See y'all later. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Stupid gun.